Okay, so I've started doing some cabling already. I'll just show you what I've done real quick. I've just basically, that, that ring I got from the nether is perfect um, for flying around. So I can put these up. So I've put one up to go up to the middle of the ship. So we're going to put some um, crates up there now. I did initially put some wooden crates in this container. Now, I'm pretty sure I can use metal crates and put metal crates in here. Reason being is that they hold a lot more and I'm going to need a lot more storage for things like oak and things. So, we're going to want to store those in here um, and make sure that, yeah, that we've got plenty of storage for things like the oak wood and whatnot. Um, I've tested already to make sure it works. So it's all working. Um, let's just take that out. So you can see it's all here. Now, I've had to use, I'll show you the connectors I used. I haven't used imports or exports. I don't need to use that yet. Um, I might need to use exports and things like that later on when I start filtering things. But um, at the moment, as you can see up there, I'm just using this. So it's, a, it's used to connect inventory to a network. So rather than using an export cable or anything like that, so this one can automate simple processing transactions. So there is some sort of automation to that uh, with the way it processes things. So I'll have a look into that later on. But for now, we just want to be able to put things in and take things out of the network. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upgrade, um, I think, a lot of this to metal crates. Um, if I can, um, otherwise I'll just chuck all these in there and then make metal crates as well. So we'll see what we're going to do because I don't really want to have a mess on the floor with all this stuff. Um, and I can always make more metal crates, like I've got plenty of room to put a heap of, heap of shipping containers on the top. So I just wanted to show you guys um, what I've been up to and yeah, I'm going to keep going from there. Um, but. Um, yeah, once we get a list in here, we can cover all this up to make it look a bit better as well. Um, same with upstairs. And I'm wondering whether on the same cable upstairs, if I can put an adjacent shipping crate on the other side of that cable. So I'm going to be testing that out as well. So you can see here is only one crate. But I want to see if I can put a crate here and see if it connects up to that cable as well. And then, yeah, we can extend those up if need be. But um, yeah, just want to show you guys that, and um, yeah, I'll be back once I've done some more of, uh, yeah, get, get all my storage and stuff like that in all here, and we can start uh, processing things a bit quicker. Alright, thank you, and I will speak to you, or speak and see you soon. Alright, so welcome back. I've been busy moving some stuff around. Um, so, I ended up moving this... Um, so I'm basically going to be working from this side now. Um, now, one of the reasons why I did <laughs> was because I thought I'd actually broken my simple storage controller. So I spent quite some time rebuilding it all. Um, when, yeah, I put a chest in there, removed the chest. It wasn't actually the chest that did it. Um, it was actually the fact that we filled up on wood way too quick. So those storage boxes that are upstairs, the metal storages, I think they hold like 4.1k, um, which is nowhere near enough for our oak. It just fills up way too quick and backs up. So I've done a few things with the oak. As you can see, I've got 30k in there now. Um, we've got lots of just different stuff in here. Now, I don't have any chests in here at the moment. Most of these have folders or are stored upstairs in the shipping containers. Um, now the shipping containers are good if you want to store up to 4.1k. I didn't really see any difference in between the wooden and the, and the metal ones when I checked it, because they both seem to store 4.1k um, when I put it in the shipping container anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. But um, yeah, I've started storing all this. so. Um, the only thing I can't store in here is, at the moment, without the chests and stuff, are uh, things like the actual crates. Um, I could do folders, though, and a few other things, but I'll show you what I've done since um, since then. Um, 
so you've probably already seen the automation. I haven't hooked up this yet because I've still got to do some ingots in there. Um, I'm also, I, I will go ahead and automate this. And I also need to put um, a fluid duct on that to go into there. <coughs> but at the moment, it's fine. So here, I've just basically, I had to open all these up. And then I've got uh, imports on each one of these. Um, so I'll show you down here. I haven't done those yet. I haven't done those. So this is what I've done. So I've basically got a platform that I'm building up for my storage. So this is for the filing cabinets. So yeah, I went with filing cabinets. I will be kind of updating this later, but basically all these um, are exports, uh, sorry imports, and then I've got them filtered to minus one, so it's the it's the first priority to be to be imported um, into the network. Uh, so yeah, I'll put the filters on all those. So you can set them, I believe, to just black um, with blank in there so it doesn't blacklist anything and then away it goes so you can do it that way too um i've also made a, a void trash can so like if basically any of these get higher than a certain point it's going to start trashing them so i've um yeah i had it at three because i wanted to see if it had any i've, I've actually set it at three because I put it as a storage network to see if that works. Um, I could have done it as an export, but I didn't want to export it. I just want to have it so that once storage gets above priority three, sorry, above the, the priority, it'll go to the last priority and start putting it in here. So these are basically what I'm currently trashing at the moment that are full. So clay leaves were getting full. Now we're getting backed up, so I'll show you upstairs and just make sure they're not being backed up. Um, so in here I got all the filing cabinets, I got all, you know, all the different stuff in here, um, and then all here, and then yeah, I got the storage links on them all. So these ones, as you can see, I got the blacklist like this, so I can just store it, and it's got a priority of one, so it's it's going to be basically the um, first thing in the network to actually store it. Um, apart from our storage containers. So our storage containers upstairs, which are the shipping containers, are at, um, at a higher priority, which is a, low, which is a lower number, I believe. So therefore they should store it first, then it will start doing all these. Um, as you can see, like, sticks have started to fill up. We've got 16K there, and it's still filling up. So I don't know how much these things store. They would store a lot, though. So, yeah, you can see there. Oakwood, it's already starting to store here because it's full upstairs. Um, yeah, so we've gone ahead and put all that in. Um, so that should be cool. Um, and then yeah, we can we can link all this up later on and get all that um, <coughs> to be imported to the to the network as well. As for upstairs, let's just run you upstairs. Oh yeah, and I did put a packager here because. It's just so handy to have a packager here, and I have the, uh, the the finished tinkers here, and yeah, there's some automation here, um, which you'd probably be able to see in another episode, my tinkers episode, and yeah, I made this. <laughs> um, this is basically going to be an experiment for trying to keep one of those ocelots, the cats, so that I can train it, because I did have one down there, but it kept on escaping, so I've lost all of them. <laughs> but anyway, in here in the shopping, shipping container, you can see here I've got all the saplings and stuff. Now, if we have a look for something that's maxed out, I'm pretty sure wood's maxed out. Maybe it's not in that one. It's in this one. <coughs> so oak wood's at 4.1k here. Then you can see next we've got a metal crate. 4.1k so I left that there on purpose just to kind of show you guys if doesn't seem to be any difference to be honest it just cost me iron to make an iron an iron one so even sticks are at 4.1k so these aren't bad but you could almost use these as almost like a chest 
just a larger chest. And then, um, yeah, I've just got the simple storage on here, as you can see. I've actually got them at one. But yeah. So it'll go into those when um, when it's all ready to go. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I've got up to so far. Um, I don't think I've got much else down here. So yeah, you can see the the cat is gone. I did put a um, a rope around it and tied it to there, but it did eventually go. <laughs> it got lost. Um, so I don't know where it's gone. But anyway, that's just a quick show around. So I think next, um, let's just check this. Yeah, so I've still got plenty of this. There's plenty of tiny rubber that's come through this. It's just kind of slowish, but I'm not big, not really fussed on it. I don't need a heap of um, plastic right now. But um, yeah, so there's the network. And we can uh, do these ones as well. So basically what I did to do this, I'll just show you. So we've already got the import buses on us. Um, and we just basically slap all the import buses on them and do them one at a time. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six there. We've got one filing cabinet. Now these filing cabinets, as I said, can open with a with an open hand. Now we want to make uh, filing cabinets. So yeah, it's the metal bars and stuff. So we can make one, two, three of those. And then to make metal bars. ahead and make a few of those. Put those in there. And um, yeah. We can um, start making some stuff. So we can make some metal crates. Uh, not metal crates, filing cabinets, sorry. So we still need a few more. Oh, one more should do it for now. Don't need 15 of them. And then we probably won't need that many because each one of these won't take up a full cabinet. Um, yeah, they won't take a full cabinet. So what we'll do is we'll drop down here. And then we'll put our um, storage link cables. Actually, no, we want um, import buses. So we'll go over here. Oh. got a storage up here. Yeah, I really need to sort out some stairs or something for here. And then we're going to look up um, cables. And I've got a heap of import cables already. And just stay up, oh, we're also going to need normal cables too. We'll chuck those in. We can also, um, <coughs> if we really want, we can bring these across too. Um, but I want to make uh, I want to make sure we've got all the ingots and stuff like that first before we start before we start doing that. So first of all, let's um, put those here. So we've got our, all our import cables, and then all we need to do now is link this up to the network. It's all linked up. And yeah, I used half slabs here so I can walk underneath this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do that. That's why these are on slabs. Um, we are going to replace the torches as well with uh, with land. Mm, so it's a special lantern. I think it is. 
I'll look it up afterwards. It's a... Uh, what? I thought it was a lantern. Yeah, these things. Feral flare lantern, so they illuminates a large area yeah. moving. The lantern causes the light to slowly decay. So th this one's actually quite large. Um, so we'll be definitely making some of these. <coughs> We're going to need quite a bit of light glowstone. So, yeah. Well, what about glowstone sapling? Is there a glowstone sapling? sapling? There is. So, yeah, we can, we can even make that. It's actually quite simple. So that's, that's not a problem. We can definitely make that. But anyway, back to what we're doing. So they're all on now. So I'll just show you. We'll, we'll hook those up from upstairs. It's easier. Um, yeah, this will all get tidied up later. But for now. So basically what we're going to do. Just move some stuff. And then for the donuts, let's just say, we're going to grab those. And what I usually do is I half stack those, I half stack those, and I just grab one leaves. So that's basically what I put into a filing cabinet. Um, the sticks and everything will get automatically sorted. Now this one does also do donuts, so that'll take one extra slot for the donuts. So we'll definitely be storing those as well. So you just get a folder. X that out. We'll just grab half of those. We don't need that many yet. Put the donut next to it and we'll grab that and so on. And each one of these um, filing cabinets holds seven. So as you can see I've got uh, six here so I can still hold an additional thing. So what we'll do is we'll put these in and then we'll have a look at what ingots because we'll just store ingots in the last folder, whatever we've got left over. So that's our diamond, uh, sorry, that's our donuts. Now we're going to do bacon. So we're going to grab half of those bacon strips, half of those, half of those, and we'll grab one stack of leaves. And then, yeah, basically rinse and repeat. And then bam, we've got bacon. There we go. So that's all good. Uh, what have we got? Five. Two resin, two acorn leaves. Oh, we don't. We didn't do the bacon. So we also want bacon, right? And then, again, nickel. And also grab the saplings. Oh yeah, we've got to get a bacon sapling too. So that should be all for that. Let's grab bacon sapling. And did we have a donut sapling? Yeah, so we, we, we'll actually store all this in those two folders, in those two things. So again, donut sapling, filing folder for that, and another one, and even for the saplings I'll just do one for now. And the folders are fairly easy to make, you just need paper. So we'll just fill these up. Cool. So now nickel's done, now we need to do emerald. Excuse me. Dog's just getting a bit excited. <laughs> now they go again. Folders. I'll show you how to make those. They're really easy. Oh, sorry. I passed. So 
I'll make some folders. As you can see, it's quite easy. Cool. So we've got the emeralds done. Now we just need magma slime. Now we'll split those. Not so much that. <coughs> and we'll also get the saplings. So that's an easy one. Uh, quartz. While we're here. And we'll also grab... Oh, actually, we're already storing the quartz already. We'll just have a look. I'm pretty sure I am. I'm not. Let's just grab some and just see if we've got a slot for it already. If not, we'll we'll make two slots. Yeah, we don't have slots, so we'll use we'll, we'll make two slots. Why not? Got plenty of filing space, right? So again, just do the same thing. And it'll also put that stack into the into the folder as well. The only way you can get that out is via the actual system itself. <coughs> so that's why, um, yeah, before when it broke, I was kind of freaked out because I thought, oh, I'd lost all my staff. Um, but it wasn't the case. There is some pros and cons to this. Like, this is pretty good for this, this kind of early game. The ME system, although, I do like it um, because, I don't know, I just find it easy to craft. Um, I think with the ME system as well, it might even use stuff in your inventory, whereas this one doesn't. It uses everything that's in here and not in your like your inventory down here. Um, doesn't really combine them. But, um, oh. I'll see if there's also auto-crafting as well. I'm, I'm not too sure if there's auto-crafting with this one. Um, oh, we can put one more. Oh, so we can put eight in. Oh wow, okay, so we can actually store more than I thought. So let's see if we've got um, gold. Yeah, we do. What about nickel? No. Have we got nickel on us? We do. So we've got one nickel ingot. We can uh, make a folder for that. Uh, I think we've already got gravel. Chuck the gravel in there. Now, clay, I don't think we have. And I don't think we have for obsidian. Check. Uh, we should have one for this. Lapis, we'll have a look. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got egg already. Uh, block of quartz, we'll definitely do that. Uh, chuck those pages in there. Plastic. Yeah, why not? Another quartz. In case you would planks, we should have in there. Um, glowstone. We'll definitely check that and make sure we've got a thing of that too. Um, we'll keep that for later. So that's really all in there. I think I might even have diamond in here. Yep. Like glue. No, we don't have any glow. Glowstone. So we'll make uh, one glowstone. And uh, let's make one of those as well. And we're going to store that in a file. So let's just store this stuff. That's cool, we can store heat more. I can probably store some more downstairs too. So, um, also got nether quartz, we can get rid of that. 
Oh no, we can't yet because it's not in the system. Acacia wood plank, spruce wood. We don't have the acacia wood planks. So we'll do that. Um, do we have plastic? No. So we'll do a plastic. Um, we definitely have gravel. Do we have block of quartz? No. So we'll do a block of quartz as well. Uh, what about clay? No. So we'll do a clay. Do we have that clay? No. Do one of those. We definitely don't have nickel. Uh, obsidian? No. Don't have obsidian. These are like all things that you're going to stack up over time. Uh, we do have congealed. Do we have lapis? Do we have lapis at all? No. So what we'll do is we'll also grab. We only got the one block of lapis. It's alright. Grab that one lapis out. You could, you could put that in the system and then pull the lapis out and then make another lapis thing, and then away you go. But we're gonna just create another lapis, right? So we'll just grab one of those, one of those, go over here, and bam, got some lapis blocks. And then we'll just um, grab our lapis, put those back. And we'll grab our lapis. Now what we'll do is we'll just fill up these first. Cool. And then we should have some room in these in these ones still. And then we'll move them up. I'll show you how we do all the sorting. Yeah. So let's just see if we can put that in. I think you need to open them first. Yeah, so let's do, a, let's do a some storage in these. That's definitely got storage. But yeah, you have to open them to put them in. So now, all the stuff we've got in the inventory we should be able to put in there. Once we move this stuff, and we'll test. So let's grab our putty pick, just because it's quicker. And we're going to connect all these. Um, you don't have to close the filing cabinet. Alright, so... We'll take these downstairs. Yeah, I've still got my cables on me too. We're just going to use the storage link cables. We just gotta find somewhere to put these. So um, let's just grab some slabs. And we don't want to put them here because we're gonna have all this come down as well. So what we'll do is we'll put them here. And we're gonna run a cable, I think, along here. Yeah, we're gonna run a cable along here. So we'll get our cables. And I'm gonna run them. I'm gonna run it here and then straight. Just connect it up to that and it should connect just fine. Um, we're not going to connect it up there yet. And here. And then here. And then we're going to bring this around. Uh, we don't need it that far. Yeah, 
I definitely need to get some letters and stuff. Yeah, then I'm having to come around this way. Oh. Okay. For now. I will also put some slabs up around the back so we can get to the back of this. Sure, you got room. And we're going to need another torch. For now, uh, put one there. I need to put one downstairs actually. Yeah, see, it's dark. So, we're going to put our filing cabinets down. Like so. And you can stack another one on top and then what we're going to do is bring that cable we don't really want to bring it down so what I usually do is I'll grab one of these stand on top of this and place that and then what we're going to do is place our um, animal storage like so and then I'm going to I'm going to make this a minus one so like these ones, got those minus ones, so it's a higher priority, basically. Actually, I got them as a one. I think I had the top ones as minus one. Yeah. So we'll copy the same thing over here. We'll do a one. So that one's done, all right. And then all we do, because these things you can print, you can chain. And then uh, one. And you can see I, I haven't put anything on the blacklist because I really don't care. Um, it's it's like ready to go. It's it's not like the other ones where you've got to put locks on them. So that's that's pretty much done for the storage that we've got in there. So now we're just going to go and just make sure that we can place everything back in here. We could have done this downstairs too. So you can see. Everything will go in there now. So, there we go. And I'll just show you these things. So, these are all those double drawers. And you can see I've, I actually went through them afterwards and just made sure that everything wasn't backing up because uh, the wood was backing up. So you can see here the gravel saplings now backing up. So if I grab half of those, Actually, we'll check and making sure. Ah, oh, we can check it down here. We'll just make sure we've got grab, like the actual saplings in the system. So we we do have some, but for whatever reason, it's not getting filtered out properly. Actually, so what we do, I'll show you. It's probably fallen off the system. So if we go back to where the gravel saplings were, and we get our muddy axe. find out that there's no gravel sapling in there. So now that we've got that in there, that should now actually work. See, it's gone now. So if we put gravel sapling in, see, it'll start to go now. So we'll go along, just make sure nothing else is stuck. Because with these fa with these cabinets too, is if um, they do back up on a certain thing, I find that um, 
it can actually back up the rest of the system and it actually won't go through and actually empty everything out. Um, so you'll find that you've got like nothing in there. Yep, there we go. So, Lapis may not be happening either. Guys, uh, we'll just check the others before we hop down there. Cool. Yep, and it's all going through. So now we've got to turn these on. So now that we've actually got a filing cabinet for each one of these, we're going to go ahead. And what I usually do is actually, I'm, I'm actually going to whitelist these. So this will whitelist them. Now, with these, I actually set the priority, I think, lower as well. I think I set these in minus one. Yep. So we're going to set these at minus one over here as well. And then this will start emptying all that out. So we'll come back to that in a minute. I just like doing it this way, that way I can see everything in there, especially when I'm down there I can see what's up here, whereas if it's blacklisted I can't really do that for troubleshooting reasons. Now that should start working, so we're going to Go get some um, some food of some sort. Let's let's go some um, some donuts. Why not? I feel like some donuts. Okay. Just eat some so we can get some running happening. Cool. Now, if we go have a look, let's just get some planks again. Oh, not playing some um, slabs. Uh, we get the spruce dark slab. So each one of these, I've got a folder for or something like that at the moment. There we go. Now I'm pretty confident this is all going to work anyway, so it's all going to go through. But what I'll do is I'll wait for it to do its thing for a little while and make sure that it empties out. some reason. So we'll make two of those. And make my slime ball. We'll just I don't think we've got any of it. Did we miss one? I think we did. So if we just chuck those in. And just for the hell of it, because it's 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 really not much trouble. We'll also do the slime ball. I'll say the leaves. I don't think, I don't know where that went. Slime ball. So let's have a look before I do this. Oh, we do. So we've got the slime ball. Congealed. So yeah, see, we don't have the congealed stuff, but we definitely got the um, slime balls. Yeah, we definitely got the slime balls. Let's go ahead and we'll put this downstairs. So again, you got to have your empty hand open.
check. Yep, it went through the donuts. Go through that. The nickel. Do we not do the nickel sapling? We'll have a look in a minute. Emerald sapling, we'll grab one of those as well. Sure, we've got all those. So, uh, emerald. Actually, you know what? I'll just go emerald. No, we don't have it. Nickel. We do have the nickel. Quartz. Yeah, we don't have the quartz sapling either. So, let's quickly do these two. feeling maybe sometimes these filters don't pick up so maybe it hasn't picked up on that yeah see it hasn't picked up on that Just check to make sure, because the sapling didn't want to go through before. So we'll just just double check. Yeah, it's in there. So the nickel. So the sapling hasn't moved, so that makes me think that the sapling is not in there. No, it's not. So we'll grab that one nickel sapling, chuck it in the filter, put it in. Away it goes. Now nickel leaves. in the filter but maybe we don't have a folder for it so I'll have a look so we do have nickel saplings oh we don't have nickel leaves so let's just go chuck that down so I find that this is really handy to do especially for these type of items because these got really good storage. So I won't have to deal with it for a while. And it's going to give me ple plenty of ores and stuff. So uh, nickel should be done now. Yep, nickel's going to go through. Yep. And emerald will start going through. Magma slime's going through. Quartz is going... Actually, we'll just check. Yeah, so we've got quartz in there. Uh, bacon. Bacon's going through. Um, cool. And the donuts are going through. So we'll go ahead and we'll replace this. And we're good. Like, that's done. Um, I'm just taking this out just because I'm going to do the... Um, there was another sapling I wanted to do. Um, glowstone. So I want to get some glowstone saplings so we can start making torches, uh, which I might start doing in the next episode. So we'll probably get into glowstone, um, maybe even some netherrack. Yeah, we're going to do netherrack as well, because that's going to come in handy. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see where it takes us. Um, and uh, and yeah, I think um, we'll go from there. <laughs>